and you need a... <laughs> What's up, Elite Adjuster? So there's a rhythm to the year. We've got slow times, we've got fast times, and then we get surprises. We also have licensing to keep up with, ongoing education, skills building, and networking. So how do we get all that stuff done inside of a year when we have a job that can call us away at an hour's notice? Let's run through the months and see how things shake out. January is convention season, which is networking. We can get uh, continuing education credits at pretty much any con uh, conference or convention that we go to. Um, and then we get to meet new people, we get to meet managers, we can make friends. It's a great way to learn more about the industry that we're in. February is usually one of the slowest months. I'll also try to get my continuing ed credits during this time and try to do my taxes. March. March is when storm season is kind of starting to kick up. Probably starting to see some wind events. Um, definitely starting to see some sewer backup events and that's when you have heavy rains in an area and people have water that backs up over their sump pumps or backs up through floor drains or unfortunately backs in through walls which isn't covered but that's a whole other story. This is the month where things kind of start to happen and you really kind of want to have your bag sitting by the door ready to go. April, May, June, July, August is hail season. It's kind of the high season for us. This is the season where the sun's shining and we're making hay. Everything else in, in our lives and in the world, as far as we're concerned, kind of comes to a stop until hail season is over at the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall. We're traveling the Midwest and we're climbing roofs. Hurricane season officially starts at the end of May, but it doesn't really do anything until September, October, maybe November. So the, 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 the peak of hurricane season, it happens right in the middle of October. It starts in the middle of September goes up to October 15th and then back down. And if there's a hurricane, that's great. We don't typically count on there being a hurricane as catastrophe adjusters. We're probably still working some hail event from the summer in October and maybe even into November. And of course in December, things start to quiet down just in time for us to get new laptops and ladders from Santa Claus. And I would say as a new adjuster, as a person who's just found this, this career and they've decided I'm going all in, this is probably the best time, December, January, to get started as an independent adjuster because things are slow right now and you're gonna have an opportunity to network, to get training, to get your license, to spend some time getting on rosters and applying to all these IA firms. This is also a great time to save up and buy new gear. You're gonna need a new laptop. You absolutely have to have a ladder. You need a re reliable vehicle or if you need some, your vehicle needs some work, then do it because you don't want it breaking down in the middle of a storm event. Good snapshot camera and all the little things like clipboards, pens, printers, paper, all that stuff. You can get all that stuff collected at this time of year instead of having to go out and spend $2,000 in one day buying all the stuff when you get called in your first storm. You can trickle that out over the, the weeks and months over the winter and be ready with it all organized in the garage, in its own corner, ready to go when you get that call. So storm season goes from March until we'll say Halloween, typically, if you're gonna be doing hail and assuming that there's not a hurricane that year. So what do you do in the downtime? What do you do in November, December, January, February, when you're not doing networking stuff or you're not doing your training stuff? Well, I would tell you, and very emphatically and very strongly, especially if you're brand new right now, go ahead and get a job doing photo assist or photo inspections um, with WeGo Look, with OnSource Online, with Inspectors On Demand. Um, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Um, these things will help you to kind of slide into the, into the lifestyle and give you a taste of how it feels and what it's like to have to call customers and do inspections. A lot of people don't like them, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's not going away just because we say we're, we don't want to do them. They're still going to be there because the technology is there and it is what it is. So I recommend that you work when you're not working. So if, you, if, you're, if you're already an experienced adjuster and you're doing claims or you're planning to, don't plan to not work from Halloween until what happens in March, spring break, whatever. Don't plan on sitting around doing nothing during that time. If you have a plan for earning money during that time, then it'll keep you from finding yourself eating ramen noodle and raiding the couch cushions for change so that you can pay your electric bill. I highly recommend working during the downtime, doing something, anything. Job that's easy to get and easy to quit. All that being said, this job is extremely unpredictable. You could get a hailstorm, a big hailstorm, 
Thanksgiving Day. You can get a blizzard in June. Anything can happen with this job, which is one of the reasons why I find it so interesting. Don't forget to check out Adjuster TV on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Adjuster TV. Share this video and hit the like button if you like it. And for more independent adjuster videos, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. So don't tell me how do I stop what should be? We... This is Adjuster TV. We don't wanna be like you, oh, oh, oh.